Hi there, this is Max with AppPre.io. In this short video, I want to show you how to get, um, how to work with geolocation, and in particular, how to get the latitude and longitude information uh, when running the app. Now, this is important because many APIs out there uh, require uh, latitude and longitude as the input uh, when working the API. So, for example, uh, weather APIs uh, will require that. Also, if you're invoking, let's say, Uber API, right? So, um, so that Uber knows where you are and then what kind of services or ride types uh, are available. Also, Lyft API. And again, many other APIs are, uh, you know, need uh, latitude and longitude information uh, as input. And luckily, getting that information when building an app uh, and running the app is very simple. Let me show you how to do that. I, um, I created a jQuery mobile app. And this is the first page, and that's all we need. Let's just change this to location. And we'll just keep it really simple. We will just add a label one and label two. Now we can just delete the default labels. All right, so again, the goal is just to display the latitude along with the information. Um, and that's it for the, for the page. Now to add the geolocation service, uh, we go to create new service and then geolocation. So this is a um, Apache Cordova or Fong app and it's included automatically in every app. Uh, and uh, the geolocation service again is right here. So create service. Now, because this is based on existing JavaScript API, there is really nothing to do for the request response. And we can just use the service on the page. So from design, we're gonna switch to data. And because it's a native API, so we select device. And we just want to display the values. So we're gonna select mapping for success, expand here. And you can see we get the latitude. So we're gonna map it to the first label. We're gonna map it to the second label. And then save and return. Back here, uh, we actually need a button. So let's add a button. And then maybe just call it show. And then with the events tab already opened, we're going to say invoke service and get your location. All right, and that's it. Now we can click uh, test and click show. And right away, we get back the latitude to the limited information. Now, you do need to enable or allow location tracking for the app or your domain when, when testing the app. So that's, uh, that's important. Uh, but that's basically it, as you can see, and it's really simple. Now, just going back here for a second in the mapping. So I'm displaying the information directly on the page, but you can, of course, save it into local storage, right? I don't have any values, but um, you can create storage variables, right, for latitude and longitude, and then these values will be available uh, on every page uh, in your app, right? And again, to create local storage, uh, project, model, and storage, we can actually quickly do that, so maybe latitude, right? And then we go back here, and we can see the values, so we can just save them like this. All right, so that's it for this video. Um, and hopefully this was very useful, and uh, thank you for watching.